Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to kind of jump on as I was sitting at my desk, my actual work desk, and doing homework with my kids. I was just thinking about my goals that I kind of set for myself this year. And my question is, have you set goals for yourself or your business? Do you know if your business is actually growing? Is it stagnant? Are you making money? Are you making profit? Or are you losing, you know, losing money? So, one of the things that I have been doing is, I, you know, depending on what platforms you sell on or if you sell on any platforms, you should be able to, you need to know your numbers at the end of the day. You got to know what's selling, what's not selling. You need to know um, how much you're bringing in to determine if your business is growing or not. When you look at January's numbers compared to this January's numbers, how did you do? Did you make more? Did you increase sales? Did you increase profits? So some of the things that I'm going to be doing this year to grow my business and that's one other thing too i know a lot of times people get discouraged when they see other individuals um posting in groups about you know they made this amount of sales and you know they got all these sales i am a true believer in growing your business small and organically i feel like when you do that your business is definitely going to be sustainable and it's going to be built to last because you really or taking your time to figure out what is good for you and your business. Now, if you just happen to be one of one of those that blow up overnight, hey, more power to you. That's not what I'm trying to do. I actually work full time. So for me, this is just something that I do, you know, part time. And it's something that I just really love to do. So that's why I do it. But while I'm doing it, I still want to make sure that, you know, I'm growing. I'm growing as a business owner. I'm growing as an individual and I'm evolving. So think about your numbers. Think about where you were. Think about are you overspending? Um, are you spending out more than you're bringing in? Are you tracking? Are you tracking your numbers, tracking your items? You know, are you building rapport with your customers? Are you building relationships with your vendors? Things of that nature. Those kinds of things will take you a long way. Are you meeting friends that have the same mindset that you have? You know, are you making connections? Are you networking? These are some of the things that I'm going to be working on for my business in 2022. You know, in addition to learning how to grow even more organically and figuring out ways to... Um, get momentum as far as marketing my own website and getting that traffic to my own website um i'm not like you know i'm not one of those people that thinks they know it out i'm just doing what i know what works for me and i've had my business now for a few years and when i go back and look at my numbers when i started tracking my numbers i can definitely see the growth there so i know that i am doing some things right i do know there are some things that i still need to work on as far as improvement goes and i continue to work on those things to get better in my business but i just kind of just wanted to plant that seed i know it's been a while since i posted a video i kind of been really really busy um and it's really hard when you have a ton of orders that you're working on and you want to try to do videos because you got to move the video, you got to move the camera, you got to have good lighting, you got to edit the video, you got to add music to the video. It's just a whole lot that goes into videos. So I don't really know as far as YouTube goes how that's going to end up for me. But oh, one other thing that I'm working on too is my social media, scheduling my social media posts, being more active on social media and things of things of that nature being more active with my customers on social media and, and 
and on posts, not just posting a new item that I have. I really want to build long lasting relationships that builds a great rapport with my customers that wants them to come back to me. I want to build that trust because to me, it's all about that trust at the end of the day, not just me providing you with the end product that you use and then you never come back. So I hope these tips help you guys. This was just a short, quick video. I want to kind of get out there before I start back working on my next order while it was on my mind and I don't look all crazy and tired because I had a little nap today. Um, but if you have any questions, definitely drop them down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you care. And if there's anything I can do or anything that you want to see, definitely leave it below. Talk to you guys later.